forgiven us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Praise your name, God. We just thank you because you are good. And we just um, thank you, Lord God, for giving us direction and ordering our footsteps today. We thank you, Lord God, that you are giving us wisdom and understanding. And we thank you, Father, for your spirit and the seven spirits of God. And we just, we're just so full of thanks for who you are. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Father, Amen. we just praise your name. Yes. You are holy God. We just praise you, Father, because of who you are. Yes. You are El Shaddai. Almighty God, you are Prince of Peace. Oh, yes. oh, Father, we just bless your name for who you are, God, not for what you can do for us, but for who you are, Father. We exalt thee, oh God. We exalt you, Father, far above anything else. We exalt you, Lord, because you are good. You are a good God. You're a good Father. Abba, Father, we love you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Glory to your name, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Oh, Lord, we just thank you. We ask permission to step into the room of atonement, the holiest room in heaven. We humbly come into the presence of the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, knowing, knowing that we have to walk out our salvation with fear and trembling, knowing the hidden sins of our heart that we cannot see knowing that we have to be as holy and pure before you as we can be. We cannot hold any offenses. And Father, I confess my offense against Bill Clinton and against Jimmy Carter. Father, <coughs> especially with the Iran kidnappings of the people, I confess my offense against the Supreme Court and Justice Roberts for the decisions, for the decisions, Father, that loosed homosexual marriage in this nation and for the decision, Father, that gave transgender rights when transgenderism is a psychological condition of body dysfunction. Oh, God. The Pandora's worm that was opened, I confess my offenses against the liberal Supreme Court justices, which would be John Roberts, Stephen Breyer, Elena Kagan, Sonia Sotomayor, and former, former Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Father, I confess my, my anger against them. I confess that I did not pray for them. I confess, Father, that I had an us and them attitude. I ask that you forgive me for not having a kin kingdom mindset. I ask that you forgive me, Father. I ask that you forgive me, Father. I ask that you forgive me, that you cleanse me and you wash me. You cleanse my mind. You cleanse my heart with the blood of Jesus Christ. Anyone else want to pray? Okay, Felicia. Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus, and I just repent in the name of Jesus for not interceding, Lord God, like I should have as an intercessor for Clarence Thomas, oh God, um, the affair that he had or any adultery that he committed with the need to heal, Lord God, and I judged him back then, and I repent, Father God, for judging him. I repent also, Lord God, 
for the anger and the hatred I had in my heart against Barack Obama, Lord, for legalizing same-sex um, marriage, Lord God, and just even how I just felt him as a president, that I didn't like him, Lord, but I didn't pray for him as I should as an intercessor, Lord. So I repent for my behavior of not standing in the gap. I own it, Lord God. I'm guilty of not standing in the gap, Lord God, for praying for those in authority. You said to pray for those that are kings and those in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life, Lord. And I didn't do that. Instead, I judge them. I repent, Lord God, for any judge that I um, judge, any Supreme Court official, Lord God. I repent, Father God, and I ask that you forgive me um, for not standing in the gap, not being kingdom minded in the name of Jesus, oh God. And I ask that you forgive me for my sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Who else wants to pray? Okay, go ahead, Teresa. Father, I repent for having a judgmental attitude against literally every politician when they did not make decisions that fell in line with my own views and my critical heart against them and every party that was not in line with my thoughts and what I thought was, should have happened. I repent for the people that brought in the LGBTQ rights and those that are allowing children to transition. No, we're not repenting for them. We're repenting for our own hearts. Keep it personal, Teresa. And I repent for being angry and resentful for these people that they did not see the truth. And I repent for my anger towards removing God from the schools. And I repent for my anger towards trying to stifle Christianity in our communities and in our churches. And I ask forgiveness for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I repent for the body of Christ, on behalf of the body of Christ and myself, every time we lost sight that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, again, but against principalities and powers. Father, where we have gotten into a war in our heart with flesh and blood. Father, I repent for the wars of flesh and blood, for being caught into the, being swept into the us and them mentality um, instead of seeing it as the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of darkness. Father, we, we ask, I ask forgiveness. I ask forgiveness, Father. I ask forgiveness for every time I rose up. Every time I rose up. In self-righteousness, not recognizing, not recognizing truth, not recognizing the working of hell. In blaming those people who were used, being used as the puppets of hell, not even recognizing they were puppets, Father. They're puppets. Father, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. By the blood of Jesus. Oh. Anyone else? Okay, Eileen. Father, I repent. Um, for every time that I started out in, in a spirit of righteousness and justice, but crossed the line, got over to offendedness, accusations against people that went against your will, and my love for the nation, my love for your will, just got all jumbled up in there, and I got into sin, and I repent for that. I repent for the justices that violated just what seemed to be so clearly you know right according to your word eileen we're keeping it we're not we're repenting, repenting for them we're it's just us at this moment just us i'm repenting for that but you went I'm into i repent for the justices i repent for my feelings towards what looked like a clear-cut thing and um I repent because I, I got in offendedness and I repent Lord God for the turncoat Republicans that I felt towards how dare you and I repent for that 
And I repent, Lord God, for the transgender thing because it's all of that is false identity. And I repent for being so angry about that. I repent, Lord God, forgive me. I repent. And I want to have a heart that's clean so that we can go forth and pray in effectiveness for the justices. I repent for everything that could have gotten in the way. I repent. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Janelle. Janelle, you're still, I muted you because when you're not muted, you, we can hear you when you pray. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father God, not only have I been a judge, a critical, harsh judge of the opposition, but I have not been a righteous judge according to John 7, 24, which clearly says no longer judge by mere surface appearances. I judge by mere surface appearances. I never consulted you about why a particular judge or a why a particular politician did what he did. I never consulted you on their behalf. I did not become a righteous judge. I am so sorry, God. I repent for that. I am totally guilty, hands down guilty. Thank you. And I knew better. And I knew the scriptures. Oh, Father God, please forgive us for being Forgive me for being the unrighteous judge and not being the righteous judge. Amen. Oh, God, please forgive. And wash me clean. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me so that now my eyes are clear and clean. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay. Judith J., do you want to repent that? And then Lisa. Judith? Father the, Lord, Father Lord, I come before you. I want to repent for the hatred, the bitterness of President Rollins because of Ms. Handel and killed our uncle who was then the president of the nation to a coup d'etat and our inability to forgive and being so judgmental and critical towards all the politicians. And I want to repent that instead of praying for them, for their heart to be changed, I have been so resentful and I have been so emotionally untolerated of them, oh God. I want to repent, oh God, even as an intercessor. You revealed their heart to me, but out of hatred, I didn't pray for them. I didn't do what I was supposed to do and I entered into sin. I want to repent that as that the blood of Jesus will forgive and blot away this sin away from my life and my family. In the Amen. name of Jesus, I Amen. repent. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, Lisa, your hand was up and Felicia's hands were up. And then Cassandra. And then well, I just come before you. And I ask Father that you would forgive me for being a hard-hearted person. Father, I ask that you would forgive me for every time I judge those that who are in authority over us. Father, I ask right now that you would forgive me and, and that you continue to show, Father, those places where my heart has black blotches and those places, God, where I don't have your heart, those places, God, where I have not considered what you tell me. Father, I ask right now, that you would forgive me, God. That you would forgive me, God, for not being what you called me to be. And, and that is an intercessor. And that is to pray for those, God, mm -hmm. who are in deceit. And, and those times, Father, where I was in deceit. Those times, Father, where I just did not, where I was judgmental. Where I decided that I could be judge, jury, and executioner. Yes. The times, Father, where I would turn the blind eye, the times, Father, when I've been too lazy to do what you told me to do. <laughs> Father, I just ask right now that you would forgive me, God. I plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Felicia? I just I want to continue praying for how I just Lord I just ask that you forgive me. It's just this hatred that I had in my heart towards President Barack Obama. That even when people would 
other African Americans would say stuff about him that was good. I would just roll my eyes. It's like I had this hatred in my heart, Lord, and I just repent for just having this hatred in my heart for him as an African American. I felt like he didn't help the African American community, but let us down, Lord. So I repent for my judgmental attitude, my critical attitude towards him, Lord, just this hatred that I had towards this man, Lord, and wasn't interceding for him. So Lord, I repent for the anger. I re just repent for being critical, judgmental, and just, just having a bad attitude about him in Jesus name. Amen. Cassandra. Father God, I just repent for being so opinionated, so negative, so bitter, and, and so condemning of so many of the politicians. Father Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Mitt Romney, Ocasio-Cortez, the, the lady Omar, Jimmy Carter, the Clintons, John McCain, the, the, everybody who's running California, Gavin Newsom, you know, here in San Antonio, Mr. Newberg, and the judge, Lord Nancy Pelosi, Schumer, all the Democrats in Congress, Lord, Adam Schiff, Father, I have said so many things about all of these politicians, Lord, just judging them, Lord, and I am so sorry. Father God, I know that they, that you, your heart is to save them. You don't want anyone to perish, Lord God. And so, Father, every unkind word I spoke about them, I pray that those words would fall to the ground, Lord, useless. And we would, I cancel off, I cancel any judgments against them, any everything, Lord, I cancel. I ask you to forgive me, Father, and I just wash myself in the blood of Jesus. Just wash me, Lord. Forgive me. I pray in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the blood that is cleansing our intercession. Yudoka and then Nana. Heavenly Father, you, you say we should pray for our leaders and not criticize and condemn them. And Father, I want to repent because I've set myself up as a judge over politicians, particularly in Nigeria, Lord God, when I have decided in my heart that they're not even worth praying for because I've judged them as being not even worth praying for. Father God, please forgive me because of your word. It says we should pray. And who am I to judge them? Lord, you alone know their hearts. You alone know, um, God, why they do what they do or don't do what they're supposed to do. So Father, please forgive me for my arrogance and for my opinion, opinionatedness and God and my stubbornness and my refusal to look at men as in leadership or women in leadership the way you look at them and not look at them as some kind of stars that should, you know, should know better. Holy Father, God, please forgive me, cleanse my heart of this judgmentalism and criticism of, you know, of um, Boris Johnson in this nation thinking, what's the point praying for him? Lord God, I know this is such a totally wrong attitude, Lord, and I ask you, Father, that you would forgive me and purge my heart and reset my attitude with God for all the wrong thinking I've had against politicians. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nana. Father God, at the moment we thank you, we magnify you for bringing this moment to this day. I ask forgiveness for following the multitude to sin, to criticize the presidential cabinet. In Togo, whatever this uh, Yadema family is doing, he, I don't like it. So I criticize about them, Ghana, uh, about MPP all over, wherever, even the UK here. I don't talk much about them, but in my heart, I criticize. Father, forgive me. Father, I ask forgiveness for judging somebody's servant. Father, you choose them to be there. It's not me. It's not my work to judge them. It's you to see what they are doing. Instead of me to pray for them so that their work will be good, I start to judge to follow the multitude. Forgive me, I repent and I renounce this my criticism way and I repent of all this hatred in my heart. Hidden hatred. He, I repent of it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. And cleanse me. 
And any word that I have spoken, that I have said, I repent. I can't take my word back, but Father, rub it with the blood of Jesus, and it will not work against them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Rita, and then Sharon. <clears throat> Father, I repent in the name of Jesus for <clears throat> the many people in the political arena that I have taken offense at and have uh, responded in anger and, and hatred and judgmentalism and in a self-righteous spirit, Father, and, and not seeing them as um, your children that you love and want to come to a, into a relationship with you, Father. I repent for, for judging them and not um, praying for them and, and um, just for a wrong attitude in my heart, Father. I ask that you would forgive me in Jesus' name. Okay, next is Sharon and then Karita. Thank you. Father, I'm glad for the opportunity this morning to come to repent for my anger towards a people when they voted for a party that is not of my choice. I repent for judging the ones that have been elected and for not praying for them. I repent that I did not pray for them, Father. I have failed to seek your face and have bring the polit to bring the politicians before you and have turned my, backs my back against their behavior. I repent for my hatred towards the politicians of Jamaica, Father. Especially the ruling party right now, Father. I ask you to forgive me of my criticism, to forgive me for the time that I have not spent praying for them, Father, for the times that I have criticized them, Lord. Even sometimes when they have done good in my deep self, I, I did not choose to accept it. I ask your forgiveness, Father. Amen. I ask Amen. You Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clarita. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent for being numb to the rulings and not standing for righteousness and interceding and siding with those who were in agreement with these iniquitous acts. And Father, I repent for, for um, just the anger and the bitterness and unforgiveness towards Clarence Thomas. And Father, I ask that you I repent and I ask that you cleanse me with your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. Susan? Got to unmute. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I repent, O oh Lord, for being so critical towards the government. I repent for not praying, O oh Lord, when you prompted me to pray for the government. I repent for my harsh criticism, O oh Lord, towards President Barack Obama, especially when I found out more about him, O oh Lord. I ask, O oh Lord, I repent also for the as a black person, oh Lord, for being so critical of President Donald Trump, O oh Lord, have mercy upon me. I repent, O oh Lord, to, for even being critical of our own President Uru Moigai Kenyatta. I repent, O oh Lord, for associating the suffering, O oh Lord, of the nation to his legacy, O oh Lord, and to his bloodline. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my tribe, O oh Lord, because we have oppressed the rest of the nation, O oh Lord, and done all sorts of things that do not glorify you. Lord, have mercy upon me, O oh Lord, and I ask Jehovah that you give me the grace to pray and to stand in the gap. I ask Jehovah as I come before for you today, that Lord, that you may raise raise up, Lord, intercessors to pray and to strengthen each other in prayer. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, King of Kings. Have mercy yes. upon us, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. I want to repent on behalf of intercessors and on behalf of the body of Christ. Father, I come standing as a representative of intercessors standing as a representative of the body of Christ. I want to repent for the harsh criticisms, the judgmental responses, the prayerlessness. The prayerlessness. For you clearly told us to pray for our enemies and for those who despitefully use us. We to forgive them. We're to pray for them. 
And Father, we have cherry-picked our prayers. We have cherry-picked our prayers according to our opinions. We have cherry-picked our prayers according to our beliefs. Father, we have, we have been cheerleaders in our prayers for those who held our political positions. And we have cursed with our mouths and our hearts those who are, we saw as our enemies. Father, I'm asking this day that you would cleanse the prayers of the intercessors. I'm asking, we are guilty. We are guilty, Father. We're guilty of the us and them. We're guilty of the us and them. But in you, there is no us and them. There is no us and them. There is no us and them. And when, when Joshua saw the Lord, the angel of the Lord standing outside of Jer Jericho, he asked, he said, are you with us? And basically the angel said, neither. It's basically, are you with me? So Father, this day, this day I repent because we have gone into heaven. We have gone to the courts. We have taken our prayers and our prayers have been prayers of us against them. And you clearly said, no, I'm in the battle. It's neither. You've got to stand with me. You've got to stand with me. For Father God, you so love the world, the world, the world, and everyone in the world that you gave your only begotten Son that none would perish and all would be saved. And Father, forgive us for putting those people that are our enemies in our hearts as those who will not be saved. Forgive us for not praying. Forgive us for not holding them up before you. Forgive us for our not having the faith to believe they can change. Forgive us, Lord, I pray. Forgive us, I pray, Lord. Forgive your church. Forgive your body. Forgive especially your intercessors who should know better. Oh. Do you have anything else, Dan? Mm -hmm. Father, I come and I confess and repent for being angry at those that have not voted especially the Christians that have refused to vote because they have decided that there's none worthy of their vote, that they didn't want to get involved. Forgive a, of that hatred that went out against them for allowing the unrighteous to get into office. Father, forgive us, Amen. forgive me of the double-mindedness where I lift up a prayer for, for the leaders, then turn around and speak negatively against them. Forgive of this hatred of double-mindedness. <sighs> Forgive, Lord. Amen. Cleanse in the blood. Cleanse in Jesus' in the blood. name, I ask. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Does anyone want to add to this? Okay, Joni. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I repent for this attitude of me versus the liberals. Everywhere I go, if I meet someone, I immediately say, well, they're a liberal or they're a Christian. And it's wrong. It's labeling. I stepped out of my office as an intercessor. I didn't lift them up in my heart and pray for them. I stepped out of my calling. I got up from my seat with you in heaven and came down to earth and thought I'd fight fleshly like Peter with a sword and used my tongue as a sword against them and criticized them. And I'm asking you to forgive me for those words that came out of my mouth Amen. as an immature child. I ask you to cleanse me and cleanse my soul and cleanse my prayer that I could get back into position where you want me to be. Amen. Amen. Okay, Priscilla. Priscilla? She looks frozen. Priscilla? Okay, there she goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Father, I repent for judging uh, presidents. Um, I repent, Father God, 
for not teaching our children, Lord God, to respect authority, Father, and putting fear in them, Father, when they see police officers and things like that. I repent for that, Father God. I repent, Father God. I believe in my heart that President Trump is, is your man, Father. But I have judged him, Father, for some of the things that he said and his attitude about some things, Father. Father, I just repent, Lord God, because I am not perfect, Father. I am not perfect. How could I expect for anyone else to be perfect, Father? Amen. So I repent, Father God, for, for my part in um, not supporting and standing with the people that you have chosen, that you have put in office, Father. Amen. I repent, Father God, for judging judicial systems, Father, especially in my city, God, because I didn't believe that they were being fair or right towards other people, Father. I repent, Father, for that. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me, Lord. Amen. I thank you, Father, because you're good. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bumi, will you repent for your decisions, your, your attitudes? Where's Bumi? Father, I thank you for thank you for this new learning. This is deep, this is intense. I confess that because I believe they're all occultists, they're all Freemasons, pedophiles, that they deserve my judgment. I repent, I repent, I repent, I repent. I confess that because of the Nigerian politicians and their open disregard for human life, that when they have a downfall, that they deserve it. I repent for having the be believing much more in their depravity and not in your grace. Yeah. Father, cleanse me. This Amen. is bad. This is bad. Amen. Cleanse me. Only you can cleanse me. Amen. Amen. Susan, your hand is up. Okay. Father. Hello? You're on. You're fine. Yep. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I repent, O oh Lord, for the rebellion towards leadership. I repent, O oh Lord, for the rebellion in the bloodline, O oh Lord, having come from a place of strong women, O oh Lord, that any time that I see a man in leadership, O oh Lord, I tend to rise up, O oh Lord, against them. I repent if that has hardened my heart, O oh Lord, towards praying for leadership. And I ask, O oh God, that you deal with my heart and give me a heart, O oh Lord, that obeys and submits towards leadership in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, Today, I think, in this room of atonement, that we have much do, to do before we could pray for anyone. And I think for the rest of the day, each of you need to spend more time before the Holy Spirit, allowing him to show you anything else that's in your hearts. Some of this will be generational. Some of this will be because of great oppression and persecution your families have experienced. But in order for us to gain freedom in any way, shape, or form, we have to forgive. We have to release the bitterness and the hatred against those in authority. Because how can we pray for those in authority when we have this hidden area of darkness in our hearts? And so, Father, I bring before you all the repentance that has gone forth in the hearts of everyone connected to this call today and anyone else who will be connected to this call watching it online. And Father, we bring it before you and we're asking for a cleansing of the hearts of the intercessors. We're asking for our hearts to be cleansed so that we can pray the very mm -hmm. prayers of Almighty God that you would pray that we can truly be in alignment with your will and your purposes. Mm -hmm. And you will hear us because we will have authority because we've owned, we've owned our own brokenness. We've owned our hatred. We've owned our judgments. We've owned our opinions. And Father, you told me I didn't have a right to an opinion. I didn't have a right to an opinion. 
<laughs> that there was only one person's opinion that mattered, and that was the word of God and what God's position was on any issue. And Father, I'm sorry for taking your word. I'm sorry for taking your word and aligning those portions of your word with my opinions mm -hmm. and then using that as a sword against others. Mm -hmm. Father, we, we submit to the whole counsel of God. We okay. submit to the whole counsel. We submit to that our war is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. We submit to the reality. We submit to the reality. For Father, if Daniel could stand and rule in the midst of Babylon. Father, you've given your people the ability to stand faithfully in the midst of Babylon. And what, what stands out with David, David is he, Daniel, was he prayed, he prayed, he prayed. Moses was not moved by the stiff-necked people. He continued to lay down his life for the people to be spared and to be saved. Oh, Father, give us the heart of Daniel. Give us the heart of Moses is what I ask this day. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' Amen. name, in Jesus' Amen. name. For, we, for us to have authority, we must own it. And only then do we have dominion over it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Um, I'm going to have Bumi, I'm going to have you do the bread, and I'm going to have, um, oh, let's see, Father, who is it? Okay, Teresa, you're going to do the cup. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, it is written and you said that unless we eat your body, we have not eaten real food. Thank you for your broken body. Thank you for your body that was broken for me, for us, for the world. Your body that was broken for every politician. Yes. Christian or not Christian. You died for them. As we eat of your body, we ask that your compassion for men and women in positions of power, whether they know you now or not, that as we eat this bread, you will grant us an increased measure of your compassion because it is written, while we were your enemies, you loved us. While we were weak in our sin, you loved us. Yes. And you have called us to love as you have loved. Amen. Holy Ghost, grant us this request to love our enemies and intercede for them. Grant us this request as we eat of your body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Father, Jesus, I thank you for the gift of your blood that covers our sins. If it were not for you, we could not be connected to the Father. You are the gate. Mm -hmm. You are the only reason that we have the healing that we have today. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for the covering of your blood and the washing away of our sins. Mm -hmm. And we slowly turn from black to white mm -hmm. in the cleansing of the blood. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. Amen. We slowly turn, not so much from black to white. We turn from defiled to holy. We thank you, Father. Amen, amen, amen. Father, we ask that every word that was spoken today be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places 
that is legally ours by right of eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the word of God. We declare, according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of the Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. We declare that the Holy Spirit's breath, Zoe life, is upon these prayers. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our lives or our families any curses, counter curses, strategies, or retaliations against our health, marriages, children, grandchildren, finances, ministries, businesses, properties, destiny, or well being in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen.